Right now I'm on my way to my local urgent care to go get a test done for COVID-19 and that is because I was recently exposed to it. They just took my nasal swab. All that's looking pretty good so far. All right guys, I got some uh, positive news. And uh, first off, it's I'm not COVID positive. I actually tested negative. You know, she ended up uh, losing her taste. She had a bad cough, fever, but it was it was a tough 48 hours just sitting there watching my mom go through this. Honestly, I don't know how to start off today's video. There's a lot currently going on. If you guys saw my last vlog, you would know that right now we're currently dealing with COVID-19 in this house and that I was exposed, which is why there's been no construction series at Jesse's Rigid House here in New Jersey. And you know, in that video, I also talked about how everybody was on the up and up. My mom was doing a lot better. My brother was doing a lot better. Up until this morning when we got a text message in the family group chat. And that text message was actually this video my mom sent to us. Hey, just want to let you know, I am sitting at the hospital. Look at that, my blood pressure. It's kind of high for me. Um, I'm on all kinds of medicines at the moment. Found out I have COVID pneumonia, the start of it. That's why my chest really hurts. I am... Just got some um, steroids to help my chest a little bit and a infusion to help so I just want you to know that I'm okay I will be home hopefully sometime later all right kids love you you can text me if you want but I might not answer bye so yeah, my mom has COVID pneumonia, which absolutely sucks. But the good news is she's expected to make a full recovery from it. And also she's supposedly supposed to come home tonight, which is also a plus. So guys, do me a favor, drop a like uh, to help support my mom right there. But it's just crazy to think, you know, when everything looks like it's on the up and up, everything seems to be going good. Life sometimes just decides to throw a curveball just like that and change some things up. I figured I'd just give you guys a little update about everything because it's just crazy to think how much has changed within the last few days of the last video going up. Also on a quick side note, a lot of people tell me, hey, you should cut your hair. I kind of find it funny because for the longest time, everybody's like, yo, you should grow your hair out. You should grow your beard out. Well, first off, can't grow a beard because I'm an active firefighter. And second, uh, I kind of want to grow a mullet. So if this video hits 1,000 likes, right, I will grow a mullet straight up which is why my hair is already getting long um i will actually get a mullet haircut if this video hits 1000 likes i figured why not just throw it out there and let you guys decide but with all that being said good morning saxon family how are you guys all doing today hope you're having a fantastic day you got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video uh today we are currently now waiting for my mom to get home from the hospital it is currently 6 p.m she should be coming home in like the next 20, 30 minutes or so. I decided to come up to my bedroom right now to kill some time while waiting for my mom to get home from the hospital. So what we're gonna do right now is actually FaceTime Nick Regenis so that we could tell him that A, I am negative for COVID and I'm ready to come back to the house and B, see if he's done anything to the basement because I know you guys have been fiending for construction content and trust me, I've been fiending on making that. I really wanna get back down in there building like Bob the Builder and doing some construction because I am awful at it but I enjoy it and I enjoy watching Nick do the work and also me kind of learning from Nick how to do the work while vlogging for you guys. So let's FaceTime Nick. Yo what are you doing dude? Construction bro. Are you? How's that coming out? It's good building walls you know what I'm saying? A little bang bang here. Yo, that looks pretty good. Wait, whoa, whoa, is that by the AC units or whatever that is? You ain't seeing nothing yet, bro. Maybe I'll give you a little sneak peek, but what's up? Yo, um, you making some construction vlogs? Yeah, some. Some sort of vlogs. You're very hesitant about that there, Nicholas. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some, some, some on my sleeve. Alright, well, here's the thing. I got some good news. And I got some bad news. Which one do you want first? I like bad news first. Alright, so the bad news is, my mom's in the hospital with COVID pneumonia. That's exactly why you're not allowed here. Why? 
What do you mean why? No, no, but the good, the good news is she's coming home tonight. And also the okay. other good news is I tested negative for COVID. I don't care if you test the negative, Swift. Your mom has it. You literally have to stay home until we figure that but out. But she's not infectious at this point. I don't care. You need to stay quarantined for at least two weeks. All right, so it's been a week. So another week then? At least. At least? At least. Well, I'm going to be knocking on those doors very soon then. What doors, bro? The doors in the front of the house, the back of the house. Speaking of doors. Wow, there's actually a lot that's been done. There is a lot that's been done. Well, so, a uh, week then I could come back? So if I can't promise you anything, you gotta stay healthy and you gotta stay home. I do, listen, I, I should have had it by now, so I'm pretty good. I tested negative. Uh, dude, I don't wanna play that Alright, well, you know what though? How about this? All right. I, how about, how about I shout you out real quick? Alright, alright, that's fair. Alright, everybody go subscribe to Regenis. At Regenis on all social medias. Wait, and then leave a comment on Swiss video and make sure to tell him to stay home because he's not coming over here. At least for a week, all right? At least for a week. I'm adjusting the wall right now. Hope you can see me. I, I can see um, it. This is the most construction action they've had in a while. When I, hit 50, when I hit 50K, I'm giving away a PlayStation 5 or the new Xbox. I don't remember what it's called. Or Switch. If someone really wants a Switch. So that's good news then. Well, hey, I figured I'd uh, just hit you up, give you the good news, and give you the bad news, and uh, also see if I can come back. So. You better stay home for, for at least a week. Alright, uh, so I'll, I'll be back at the house in literally a week. We'll talk about it when it happens. Dude, people are fiending for construction content, Nick. I have to give the people what they want. Yeah, and you know what? We want not to have COVID, so... I, I, I totally understand that, and I'll make sure you guys won't get it. Is that a promise? A swift promise. Nah. I'm actually happy to see that progress has been made without me there. So, Nick, thank you so much for carrying the load. It does mean a lot. Guys, do me a favor. Make sure you do subscribe to Nick because he's killing it there right now without me. And, you know, it, it sucks when it's only one person basically doing it. So, I know how Nick feels without me kind of there. He's probably actually happy that I'm not there doing any of that. But also, the extra help is usually pretty good. But with all that being said, I did just get a text message telling me that my mom is now home for the hospital. So let's go see how my mom's feeling. Let's see how she's doing. And honestly, I'm just happy she's home. With everything that has happened between her and I, I thought I would never ever say that. Hey. Hi. How are you doing? Mm. Huh? <coughs> I'm better. What happened? So why did you end up in the hospital? Uh, I had my appointment with the doctor via conference and I had a cough and I couldn't stop coughing. And she noticed that I was really pale and crappy looking and stuff and she wanted me to be checked out because she was afraid that my symptoms have gotten worse so I went in and I had to have an EKG a, um, a whole bunch of tests a chest x-ray and it came back and showed that I had pneumonia from COVID really yeah so, uh, how are you treating that then? They gave me steroids to take, and in the hospital I had steroids, and they gave me um, the BAM, BAM? BAM, the BAM antibodies. What is that? <clears throat> the antibodies are to help me recover quicker. You only get it if your health is at a decline level so is that to help course. you like recover quicker from covid or pneumonia or both? both both of it um they said within 24 hours i'll feel better i do feel a bit better i can kind of taste again where i've had no taste for a week Wow, those medications work quick, because I know you literally just got home, like, not that long ago, so... Yeah, they said it would take 24 hours for me to, um, have the full effect. 
Interesting. So your taste is slowly coming back so slowly far. Slowly coming back. What Thank about your smell? Did you ever lose that or? I lost my smell too. I still can't smell. Oh, okay. But some things I can kind of taste. Um, it has to be a really strong taste for me to <coughs> have it. But they said if I don't feel better in a day or two, or if I feel worse, then I have to go back in. Well, hopefully you don't have to go back in. I hope not. Like, my chest doesn't hurt as bad as it did. How bad would you say having COVID was for you? Like, your your actual experience of having it. It's not that bad. It just sucked that my chest hurt an awful lot. And that you just had to go to the ER and all that. And that wasn't, I mean, the hospital that I go to, they're phenomenal. I mean... I got treated right away, doctors right away, everything done. Once all my tests came back and they saw what was wrong with me, they hurry up and got me on the antibodies, the steroids, and um, all the other fluids that I needed to get me in and out as quickly as possible. Well, that's good to hear then. Well, I'll let you get some rest, so have a good night. Uh, do you want me to shut off this light here for you, or... I'm gonna try reading for a little while and then go to sleep because I'm supposed to have lots of rest and not oh, be doing anything. All right, well, I'll catch you later then. Get, be get better soon, get well soon, better soon, all that good stuff. Yeah, the sooner the better, you know? Well, there's a little update on my mom, guys. Guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor, drop a like on it. Like I said, 1,000 likes on this video. Within the next 24 hours of this video being live, I will get a mullet haircut. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications, and become a part of the family. Until next time, guys, it's been your boy Jeff, keeping it real. I'm going to log out. I'm going to peace out, and well, peace.